Hey! So, if you don't already know, on my main channel, I released an escape room video two days ago about a YouTuber called Cameron. Since then, two of his friends have pretty rapidly responded, with two response videos released simultaneously, named Dear Canadian Part 1 and Dear Canadian Part 2, respectively. Now the reason I'm making a video about these two responses is because they highlight a very, very big mistake I made. Well, actually kind of two mistakes, but they contribute to the same problem. However, while the mistakes that these videos address are valid, I'm going to make the thesis statement now that these videos are just a teensy tiny bit overreacting, misleading, and over-exaggerating. But save your comments for the end because I'm going to respond to each of their points in the order they show up in the video so I can support my argument at the end and then address these videos as a whole. Starting off with Dear Canadian Part 1, which was uh, privated quickly after releasing. I wonder why. The problem with these friendly bullying videos of yours is that the internet is full of people who have nothing better to do with their life other than to go to smaller creators channels and shit on every single video they uploaded. I know bigger creators are very aware that they cannot control what their audience does and they should have more caution when uploading an unnecessary video. Now that is precisely right. No matter what anyone does, there will always be people who have nothing better to do than go and hate on other people. How to properly deal with that is one of the main focuses of this response. You say that your intention wasn't for Cameron to get hate, but then what exactly was your intention? For the record, your video has nothing to do with anyone else's escape rooms, as your title implies. Instead, you made Cameron a main focus for your soon to blow up video. So the video was not meant to be about escape rooms in general, despite your interpretation of the title, it follows the same format as all my other escape room videos, which will be more important later. And my intentions, if it wasn't clear, is exactly the same as it has been on every single other escape room video. Entertainment, whether you think that's true or not. I don't hate Siwat Gaming, I don't hate Alms is Cool, I certainly don't hate Cameron. Hundreds and thousands of people find these videos entertaining and have no hate towards the creators. And what makes the situation even worse is that Cameron asked you not to say anything harmful about his channel and his prison videos because he does not even upload them anymore. Seems like you completely ignored his requests and that you did not get permission for anything. So this is this response's second misrepresentation and it's not entirely the creator's fault. The question here is what do you count as harmful? Where do you draw the line? Cameron's friends have understandably classified my video as very harmful to Cameron's channel. I have not. Why? Well, let me give you context that Cameron's friends don't have. At the beginning of April 2022, Corey, Alice, and I were discussing content to make after the Arms is Cool saga ended. A lot of people wanted other escape room videos on other smaller creators like Plurple, Eider, and Cameron. Since we had contact with Cameron, Coriolis decided to ask him and see what he thought about the idea. He responded immediately with, do it. Overall seeming very enthusiastic about the idea of getting more attention to his channel. Now at that moment, I knew for a fact that Cameron had seen at least some of my previous escape room videos, and I also knew that he believed that it would have an overall positive impact on his channel, which I agree with and I will support that claim later in this video. But I'm still iffy about the idea. So two months later, I contact him myself and see if he's still okay with the idea. He says yes, but don't do anything that could harm my channel. He knows what kind of videos I make, he understands the principle that publicity is generally positive, so I drew the line for harmful as if I am attacking Cameron's channel or ruining his chances on YouTube, that is being harmful. Hence, at the beginning of my video, I make sure to reiterate that this isn't a criticism towards Cameron the person, but the escape rooms that feature in his videos. Now, like most prison YouTubers, he's not a bad person, but the escape rooms in his videos, I just, I don't understand. How are all escape room videos so bad? Even as I'm making this video, Cameron is getting a good amount of hate, even because of his name now. Um, I, I don't think that comment is about Cameron's name, but okay. As for hate comments, I'll talk about that more responding to the next video, so let's move on. To the next video. As you can see, this is Canadian's channel, and there's something very shady and something that we have to talk about that is a problem. His name is Canadian, but if you go to his about page, he's from the United States. <gasps> How dare you! You accuse my name of being a lie? 
and then you spell it wrong? As of this video, Cameron has gained 140 subscribers in the last 18 hours. Minus that by the average of 10 that he gets every day, and now you have 130 Canadian subscribers. Yes, yeah, sent by the same guy that essentially bullied the small creator, now subscribe to Cameron. Do you see the problem with this now? So this is basically him making a big deal out of something that is not a big deal. The reason that they think these new 100 subscribers that I'm so maliciously sending to their channel are a bad thing is because these are supposedly just people who want to make more fun of Cameron, right? Well, even if they were toxic subscribers, which most of them aren't, they would only be there to make fun of your prison videos. But you don't make those anymore. So how are these hundreds of new subscribers a bad thing? In fact, as of the release of this video, every single one of Cameron's non-escape room related videos has exactly zero hate comments that were sent in the time that my video has been out. The only other reason I could think of that this sub boost could be a negative thing is if you get more dislikes. Which first of all is virtually impossible to measure and second of all, dislikes do give you more impressions which is still objectively better. And more YouTube impressions is arguably the opposite of harmful. So I personally see no way how this can be anything other than positive. A creator the size of Canadian back then didn't even make a dent in the arms or see what gaming's YouTube analytics. But with the size he is now, this could hurt Cameron in terms of CTR, average view duration, to like ratio. Okay, no. I wish I had screenshot evidence of this, but my videos very much impacted Oms is cool that early on. It didn't hurt his channel at all, but it did make him stop making escape room videos. But how do you think that this is negatively impacting click-through rate and video retention? Make a 30 minute video bullying him. Yes, that's literally the word he used in the description. Okay, the word bullying was a self-deprecating joke. I hope that was obvious. When you're a creator of this size, you really have to think about how you approach this type of situation. Cameron agreed to begin the video of Canadians, but didn't expect him to rip him apart, classify it as bullying, and also received tens of hate comments. Oh boy, the hate comments. I honestly could not believe that my audience was immature enough to do this, and this is where the biggest problem truly relies. But here's the thing. In all of Cameron's videos, I have counted about 26 people writing hate comments. As of now, my video has got nearly 270,000 views. That means 0.009% of those people are writing hateful comments. Now, of course, that is very bad. But as a percentage of those inevitable, unstoppable, bad apple commenters, that is very low. Also, more comments means more impressions, which again is the definitive opposite of harming your channel. And as someone who's made videos with a lot of hate comments before, I can tell you from personal experience that while they can be very emotionally damaging, they die out pretty quickly. Additionally, I've checked the comment section of every single one of your videos and graphed all the hate comments sent in the past 24 hours, and the graph seems to support that. It's been zero for the past 10 hours. But look, please listen to me clearly. I do wish this number was zero. I was very much hoping that Cameron wouldn't get any hate from my video, and now we move on to the final argument in this response, one that is 100% true and highlights precisely what my mistake was. Of course the argument of that was that his intention could be made, and although that very well may be true, Canadian could have simply addressed at the start of the video that this was all in good fun and not to send any hate to Cameron, which every viewer would have seen. While I did clarify that the point of the video was to critique the escape rooms and not the person, I very very clearly did not do what I should have done to deflect the hatred from Cameron. I should have very explicitly told people not to send any hate at all to Cameron, and I should have very explicitly told people that Cameron had moved on from these type of escape room videos. And for the record, I'm not going to make any more videos on Cameron. And so, insert YouTuber apology joke here, I am very sorry that I forgot to integrate those crucial elements of kindness into the message of my video. Remember, the ultimate goal of the video was for entertainment and to not harm Cameron's channel. In that, I have partially fail. However, to compile everything I've said, despite my terrible blunder of a video, based on your wording you should have been able to expect the content of my video, my video will most likely have a net positive effect on your channel because your subscribers and impressions have both greatly increased and none of your newer videos are getting any hate, precisely as both Cameron and I predicted originally. So in conclusion, I think these videos overreacted and over-exaggerated their points and hiding behind your friends as a shield to respond to what is literally just a couple dozen people disliking your older videos and none of your newer ones is a little bit childish, but these videos did release an important message. Sure, the hate comments are dying out, but there shouldn't be any hate comments at all, and the quantity of those hate comments is majorly my fault. So instead Instead of making this a game of back and forth response videos, here's everything I'm going to do to try and fix the problem. First, I'm editing the description because the bullying jokes seem to give you a prescription for copium. Second, per Cameron's request, I've removed his link from the pinned comment. Third, I'm making a community post addressing the problem in general. Fourth, I'm going to say this in this video right now. 
please stop sending Cameron hate comments. These are old videos that were meant for a much younger audience, and Cameron is a great person. Fifth, if there's anything that you think I should do that I haven't done yet, all the suggestions commented on this video will be considered. But, like, if you just say something like, oh, it's too late, the damage has been done, then that's not really helpful for either of us. But let me reiterate, TLDR, the damage is my fault, but it was very minimal, and the situation will ultimately turn out positive. Thank you for watching.